Rogue activity no longer detected in this memory. Finally, something's working. Eva, are you here somewhere? I'm not actually supposed to be here. Good try, but I sure don't recall the poster looking like that. You look a little distorted, by the way. You try squeezing in there looking the same. Come on, you've lost your edge. That's quite the confidence for someone who just got lucky. There's still time, work with us, and we'll make the best of this. The best of this would be you leaving Colin alone. And I'll be the one making sure of that. You know I can take you on now, right? Try me. Activity no longer detected. But yeah, Eva should see me now. External patch installation initiated. What the? Is that you, Eva? Access to memory denied. Rogue activity not detected. Time for that later. This wasn't here before. She's here somewhere. Better not leave so soon. Thanks for making sure no one stole my cloth, Ava. Ava, there you are. Hey. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Did you see Faye around here? Don't worry, I took care of her. Already? What'd you do? Oh, and uh, sorry about the mess here. I probably should have cleaned it up. You know, I've been thinking that we should just leave. Wait, what? The patient clearly doesn't want us here. We should respect his wishes. What are you talking about? The patients don't always know what they really want. You, of all people, should know. 
Wait a minute. Ah. I guess it's no use. I should know by now. You aren't just gonna leave. I really don't know what to do anymore. But I have to keep going. Even if it just stalls you. Uh... Okay, wait, hold on just a minute. Wow. These clouds sure aren't as fluffy as they look. You've gone on for long enough. But this is where your trespassing ends. Okay, we should have one more shoe to throw. We're doing it! Sadly, this is no Pegasus Ryu Seiken, but it's the next best thing, right? You know, for an imaginary character, your attacks are kind of vanilla. And I'm pretty sure there's a Pegasus Kick, but I don't remember what exactly it's called. Rudog? Dog, you traitor! I can really use some help. What the? Rudog has joined the party. Uh, alright. The imaginary dog is questioned ceases to exist. Damn it! He's channeling Rush there. Hey, Rudog came through for us. Damn it, Neil, burn your cosmos. Like that. Was a hoot? I beg to differ. Ah, oh, shoot, Rudog's still up there. Forgot to thank him. But why did he help me? Shouldn't you all made up beings act in unison of Colin's subconsciousness? Maybe even Colin himself isn't always so sure what he wants, but so what? With, a, with all that you tempt him with, it's no surprise that he got lost. That's okay, though. He may not know what he wants, but I know what he needs. Look, you may be part of his mind, but you clearly don't speak for his entirety. Could it be that you're wrong? 
I mean, no offense, but you aren't much more than that incomplete copy of Colin back there. In fact, I'm not sure if there's a point in talking to you right now. After all, you're just an ethereal figment of his imagination that never even existed. Perhaps so, but is that any different from what you're here to do? Eva! Hey, sorry, I had to head out for a moment there. She's still in Colin's head, by the way. She's all in Colin's head, by the way. Yeah, I'm intimately familiar with that fact by now. But what were you doing? You just bailed out on me. I was out administering sedatives to curb Colin's brain activity. Not sure how his mental process could override us, but it was getting out of hand. So that wasn't a Christmas miracle after all. It took a while to work out the dosage, as we still need his brain functioning. Seems like it's working, though. The effect should be sinking in more now. Wow. Just, what have you been dealing with over here? Don't ask. What the heck is that? Just some new code Roxy sent me. She said she saw issues with the machine earlier and knew we'd be in trouble. Wrote a patch in the car while Rob was driving, apparently. Show off. Did, uh, did she say anything else about the machine? Aside from you doing a crappy job with self-repairs? No, not like there was much time to talk. Actually, I'm still not sure if Colin is stable enough for this to work yet. I didn't expect her to be locked down for good this soon. You must have tired Colin out quite a bit. Well, it was, uh, hard fought. Whatever it was, good thing this worked. I doubt we'd have time for a retry. I do have some questions for you about this incident, though. But those can wait until this case is done. The effect of the sedative is temporary. We have little time as it is. Come on, let's move on already while we still can. This might just be the most hassle we've ever gone through for a single memory link. Hmm? What is it? Oh, it's just something she said earlier. That whole thing was messed up. Did she turn freaky and ghastly on you too? Yeah, but that's not what I meant. Never mind, let's just get going and chat later. Sheesh, are they just spreading hibiscus seeds wherever they go? Backing up iterative data for applied selection. Data bag of complete and stored repository. Well, that took a while. Weren't you right behind me? I just had to clean up that mess back there. Well, let's go see what we find at the vortex of all this. I have a guess. Well, here's another one of these. 
Didn't exactly stick that soft field landing nib, huh? Not like I had much practice on an actual grass strip. So, uh, you think this is a case of schizophrenia? Well, with that, the patient usually has trouble actively distinguishing delusion from reality. But in this case, I get the feeling that he's actually well aware of it. Still can't say for certain, but I'm leaning towards some kind of defense mechanism instead. The more curious question is how she's able to materialize here so vividly. You think she's still able to, uh, see us? Hard to say, but she shouldn't be able to interfere for now, at least. This seems to be just a normal memory playback. Shouldn't be able to interfere. What you waiting for? Come on! Have you ever heard of the phrase, stop and smell the roses? There are flowers at the top of the hill too, you know. I'll raise you there. stronger by now, that's all. The cello got bigger too, you know. Just come and sit here with me for a bit, will you? Do you remember the first time we came here? Which first time? The second one, I guess. The one where I tried to race you up the hill. Oh yeah, that was a dumb move. You sure were excited to take me up there, though. Yeah, it had been a while since I took anyone there. It's still one of my favorite places. I've always liked how it overlooked the city. It really has been a while, hasn't it? I'd rather miss going there. So, why are you hesitating? Hmm? We're mere steps away from there, you know? Why are you stopping every step along the way? Stop keying yourself, Colin. You're not tired, and it's not the wind. We've already come so far. You know as well as I do what we have to do. first time we came here. That was the first time I accompanied you to play the scales too, wasn't it? Yeah, it helped. It still does, actually. Well, no one likes to practice scales alone. But you could never actually hear what I was playing, could you? It's nice up here today. 
It always is. You don't have to leave anymore. I can fly now. Wherever you go, I can go with you. You really are stubborn, aren't you? Don't you think you're gay? People would laugh at you if they knew. They can laugh all they want. I don't care. You made me who I am today. I learned to fly because of you. I kept playing the cello because of you. You taught me to practice the scales. No, Colin. I can't teach you anything you don't know, nor can I make you do anything you don't want. Maybe all you really wanted was for someone to be there. Even if it was just someone like me. I know it's mesmerizing here, Colin. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Sometimes stepping out of this little world we made. It's the only way to notice and appreciate all the beautiful things around you. I just don't want to be alone. Sure, if I go, you'll be alone at times, even when you don't want to be. But that's all a part of growing up, and it's all a part of life. It's what makes fleeting moments with loved ones treasured, and our memories precious. It's also what drives you to seek out what you wouldn't find if you just stayed here with me. There's a lot out there just waiting for you, Colin. I can't promise it'll always be good, but... I know you won't find all that you need living only in these pages of ours. You brought me into this world. I won't forget that. And while some things are meant to stay, some are only meant to carry you so far. In my own way, you know I will always be there to protect you. And whatever comes, if it's something we could do, then it's something you could do. What do you say, Colin? Are you ready? I think I'm ready for it to end. I don't care what you are or aren't. You are my first real friend. Hey, this doesn't have to be the end for us. One day you might look back and realize how fast this precious life has passed you by. And on that day, I'll come back once more. We'll talk like how we used to talk, and you'll tell me about your day. No, about your life. You'll tell me about what a happy life you've had, and all the nice memories you've made. I might not have such a happy life, you know. You're such a downer, you know that? Have a little faith in yourself, Colin. Of course you will. I know you will. It may take a long time, and it may take a lot of work and effort. But when that day comes, I know you'll have lots of happy memories to share. It's almost time. How much have you written in that book by now? You've replaced its pages so many times, huh? I must talk a lot. Sorry about that. But now that I'm going, Perhaps you could finally spare more pages for other things. It's your book. You don't always have to write about me anymore. It's just like life, right? Same book, filled with all kinds of different pages, as it should be. Take care of yourself, alright? Hey. 
I still haven't said goodbye yet. You already have, Colin. A long, long time ago. She never came back, did she? Guess not. I wonder if she's a cause or an effect. Hmm? As in, do you think Colin's unhappy because she never came back again? If Colin only wanted to see her again, I doubt he would have needed to call us. Yeah, so perhaps her absence at the end meant that he was already unhappy by then. Back to square one. This place is destabilizing again. We don't have much time left. Let's move. We have to make do with what we have. Wait. Do we even know what we're doing with them yet? I have a few ideas to try, but we still need to link the mementos first. Let's get back to the overworld and figure things out while we do that. Alright. What the heck? Uh, wait just a... Uh... In my own way, I will always be there to protect you. Neil? What's taking you so long? This place is falling apart. There's no time to wait for him. So we have to connect the similar links. So this first one's gonna be the paper plane up top. This one's gonna be the paper plane up top. Paper plane at the bottom. Okay, that should line everything up for the other one, so we know the flower goes here. That one's already lined up. This one's the cello. I think that's all of them, but... Was that a... His memories, they're falling apart. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly, there's no more time. And I find myself here just like everyone else. I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? That's why we're here, Colin. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? I want you to make me live that fulfilling life without changing anything I've been through. them. But when 
when you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Via. I won't forget about you. Just hold on to something from here. things we want to try. Other paths to take. Beep, 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 beep. Did it spill on your dress? Just one more excuse to jump into the lagoon. all that lemon juice. Have you ever tried writing with it? Lemon juice? No, why? Then prepare to be mind blown by some elementary school magic. Get this, it's invisible ink. Invisible ink? Yep, the writing appears in color only when you heat the paper up. Come on, I'll show you. Let's write something with it. It's been a while since I've written. Well, never too late to start again. How about a letter? To who? Each other, of course. We could write about this trip. It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? And at the end of it, we could show each other what we wrote of it all. Why was this not a part of that memory earlier? It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? At the end of it, we could show each other what we wrote of it all. It's been a while since I've written. Why would you even consider? Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make-believe? I'm not tossing anything aside. regrets, be it writing or wrong or a dream long past. At Sigmund Corp, we give you that second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Wait, these don't seem like just randomly scattered memories. Could it be that the sedative's wearing off? met you. You're no longer aloof, you know. When you're here, you're actually here. I know it's mesmerizing here, Faye spoke after a pause, shifting her gaze back up to the sky. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is, and all that could be? Okay, look, I got it. I got your message, you hear me? I know you're still here, you can come and get me now. Damn it. I really thought it was her. Uh, wait, is that really the only way to... Where the hey have you been? I figured it out, Eva. I figured out the impossible. I mean, it took an unholy amount of spoon-feeding, but... I guess that's what it takes when we're in the inside of it. What are you talking about? Yes, just what are you talking about? The sedative, it wore off already? 
You don't sound too happy about it. We're here to help Colin, and you're the mental process that's in the way. Well, lucky for you, that can be amended now, can't it? So, looks like we're about out of time. If you're going to erase me for good, you might as well hurry. No, we're not going to erase you. We're going to erase us. Wait, what? Colin never needed our service, Ava. He already had her. The ability to change his reality, to live in a different world. One that filled the gaps of what he wanted all in his head. She is what we do, Eva. And yet, she left. She left, which could have only meant one thing. What you're trying to imply. No, that can't be right. What we do is different from just this. How is it different? We... Because there's more to it. There's more to what we do. We fulfill wishes. We give meaning to people's lives. What we do it has to be more than just that of an imaginary friend. It's a lot more elaborate for sure. But for someone who had to fight just to let go of fantasy and embrace reality, maybe our existence was merely an unwelcomed amplifier. A reminder of the make-believe, the imaginary, and the endless possibilities that make reality seem less than what it is. Hey, you two. Things aren't looking good with the patient. I don't know what you're up to, but you might want to get out of there. And by might wanna, I mean need to. After all that, huh? I guess none of this even matters anymore. There's no way we'd still have the time to implement any actual changes. No, we might not have the time. But what about her? She's already linked to the machine's interface, right? Without us, all procedures would be internalized. So much could be done in a fraction of a moment. You're suggesting giving soul control of the machine to a mental process of the patient? The ethical implications of that, it has been done for good reasons. It hasn't been done because no patient has had a chance like this. Besides, what's our alternative? Just leave and mark this as a write-off? But what about legal complications? In the contract it says... Oh, come on, Eva. When has the contract stopped us? Uh, guys? Go on, I'll be right behind. Don't say I never trust you. for us. Well, if I were Colin, and on my last breath, I'd trust you over two strangers in white coats, right? Strangers, huh? Your colleague was right about one thing. There is more to what you do than just playing God with people's memories. You've been here for just a day, yet, in all of his lifetime, no one else has truly seen the world through his eyes like you have. And, well, you're kind of the first I've been able to meet, too. In some silly way, maybe that's a part of what Colin really wished for. It was one heck of a meet and greet, that's for sure. Full admin, trans full admin access transfer to unknown credential Fay. You gonna be alright? Just a little nervous, I guess. Well, given the circumstances, I'd say that's pretty alright. Hey. Do you think that in some ways, I've truly existed? Well, for what it's worth. I think all our memories and everything in it can be nothing but fiction we tell ourselves. Good luck out here. Colin's cunning on you.
His blood pressure is dropping. Vital signs are fading fast. I think he's letting go. I'm sorry for your loss. Please, take all the time you need. I'll be in the living room with the paperwork. When they're ready, I'll let them know. Always a little stark, isn't it? Seeing it like this after just having been in there. It is what it is. I'm just a little cold. It felt warmer in there. What we did back there, do you know if it worked? Hard to say. I'll try to dig through the data afterward, but... Well, it's never been done like this before. I don't know how coherent it'd be. Guess we got another mess of a report to write. We can take care of that when the dust settles. In the meantime, I just remembered something. So... Did you succeed? There was a complication. We tried to cope with something unorthodox, but... I'm not sure if we'll ever know what really happened in those last moments. Hey, Sophia said you got a liner? Uh, yeah? Stuck below. 
I'd searched for meaning amidst doubt. I finally figured that part out. And all the stories inside me feels like I'm bursting at the seams. And you're here after Trading my yesterday is to wish my life away. Looking for something, old timer? It's been a while, huh? A long while. You haven't changed much. And whose fault is that now? Listen, I wish you were under better circumstances, but. I know. I wish I still had time to tell you about all that's happened since then. It's okay. I was there. I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one thing, though. Do you still have any regrets? Regrets? Yeah, I have a lot of those. I missed, the mishaps, and all that I wish I had. Well, they were all still a part of it. They made way for all that I do have. And what I do have, I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. That's all I wish to hear. waiting for you. It's time to go home. Hey, Colin? Sorry I had to leave back then. Thank you for having been there, even when nobody else was.
doesn't want to talk over this, that's why I'm so quiet in case you're wondering. Are you? Am I scotch drinking home? You said you'd be here. I said I'd visit like we always do, not attend the funeral. When was the last time we even did that? I know, but I just thought we owe it to him after. Dr. Rosling, we're about to start. Go on, I'll get my turn. Alright, enjoy your scotch. You know it. Now, where were we? Oh, not looking sketchy at all, Neil. I asked you to knock, not hack my lock. Switching to digital was a terrible idea. Why did you just keep both locks on? Dag nabbit, Rob. I don't know why she even got you involved. Look, we don't have long. Are you guys still in or not? You betcha. So, is that the solution you were talking about? Yeah, that's her. Episode 2, Finding Paradise. Huh, so Bird Story goes between 1 and 2. Did not know that. The Sigmund Core mini-episodes, that is. Of course, it goes between 1 and 2 episodes. Thank you for having been a part of this. This will be my time to talk. So I was kind of wondering if they'd let us see inside the green notebook or not, but I guess not. So, a little bit different from To the Moon, but it's still advancing the whole narrative. I'm a little surprised this took so long to develop, though, because... Well, I guess they overhauled the whole minigame thing and they made you play that, so... What was that, like 20 times or something? I don't, like, I don't really know which one I'd say I like better. I mean, maybe the one from To the Moon, just because it was a little simpler. This one was... It got complicated. <laughs> one of those really gave me some trouble. I don't know which one it was, but it was near the end, where I had to sit there and work at it. Overall, we didn't really get too much information about the bigger picture that's going on. We know Neil has a condition, pills, so on. I was also a little surprised that they didn't have a stronger tie into a bird story, because I was kind of thinking the bird would make an appearance somewhere in his uh, timeline or at the very end or something. 
You can also argue that Faye is supposed to be the personification of the bird because she has wings periodically, if you remember. Basically, she entered his life after the bird left. It's entirely possible that he may have named the bird Faye, but we don't entirely know. I'm trying to think of, like, what else there is to talk about. Like, we saw the same school, they joked that some of the assets were reused, that's... That's not really a big deal in my opinion. I mean, a lot of these schools are pretty similar anyway. satisfied with it, and I'm looking forward to Imposter Factor when it finally comes out. Supposedly that's scheduled for 2020. This game, I think, came out in 2018. I'm covering it at the end of 2019 because I kept putting it off, and overall, I think it's a really good way to end the year. For those that have been following the channel, you know that at least for the start of 2020, I'm going to try to do things differently. Namely, I'm going to be away for a period of time where I'm doing other things. I'll be trying to get the BitChute channel up to speed, just porting over everything from YouTube there. The projects I'm looking forward to covering in 2020 would be Omori, which is finally done. We'll have to see when it's actually released, though. Kind of curious how the controversy on that's going to play out. And then Langrisser, which is scheduled in March, but I wouldn't be surprised if that got delayed. In the meantime, I will try to live stream in place of the usual videos, so we'll be seeing some Temtem among other things. And hopefully when it's all said and done, I can make a return to YouTube, but, well, YouTube and BitChute. But we'll have to wait and see what exactly happens in the future and how things play out. But the other reason why I kept this in my pocket was if this is indeed to be the last thing that's going to appear on the channel, to make sure it was definitely something fitting of being a finale. I joke about it being a swan song with the whole Freebird Games, Bird Story, Colin being a pilot, but I'm not really known for having a sense of humor around here, right? Um, a couple last things I was thinking about before we actually fully really wrap this up. So comparing Colin to Johnny, I mean, he didn't nearly have the tragic life that Johnny did with losing his brother and everything. Like, the worst thing Colin endured was the isolation of his parents. I don't know if it was that they were constantly moving, or if it was just by being poor, he was disadvantaged compared to other kids. He still suffered in his own way, but he... Like, he managed to get out of it. Meanwhile, Johnny had it persist his entire life, and it damaged every single relationship he had, especially with River. You can see here, Colin, he managed to have a happy... I'd argue he and Sophia had a happy life. So I guess in that sense, this game is definitely a little bit lighter than To the Moon. He got more of a true happy end than some sort of, like, bittersweet thing that, uh, Johnny did. I also don't really think there was much symbolism in this game as the whole, uh, moon and light and stuff had in, uh, To the Moon. Overall, I'd still say I'm very satisfied with what happened here. Yeah, that is everything that's coming to mind, so anyway, if this is indeed going to be the channel's finale, hopefully we can all find our own paradise somewhere sometime. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching.